Hello folks, hope you're enjoying some of my uh, videos. Uh, well, it's April Fool's time. So, in keeping with the April Fool's tradition, let's talk to some fools. Here we go. Hope this video finds you well. Please like, subscribe, share, and stop the scan. Here we go. Hello. Okay. Nice to hear that. Sorry to bother you at this time. Please do let me confirm if I'm not wrong that I'm speaking with... My name is Cherry Salsa. Cherry Salsa is my name. Cherry Salsa. You mean C-H-E-R-R-Y. Your first name is Cherry and yeah. your last name is S-E-L... T-Z-E-R, Salsa, Cherry Salsa. Salsa, oh perfect. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're, you are still residing in the state of New York? Yes. Great. Did you remember what the zip code of five digits in your state in New York? Yes, it's 13790. I'm at 147 Main Street in Johnson City, yes. I see. Okay. Main Street, okay. Johnson, right? Yeah, Johnson City, New York. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, please do let me confirm that uh, if my call is going to be a drop, the best number for uh, talk to you is 606. Yes, that's right. Perfect, okay. May I know how old are you, ma'am? Because your memory is very good. Well, and, and you know, when you get older, it does go out, but um, I'm, 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 I'm 73. I was born in 1950. Okay, all right. In 1950, wow. Yeah. Young lady. Yeah. Okay, you are. Did you remember what's the date and the month of your birth? 1-1-1950 is my date of birth. One one nineteen fifty. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I can see that you already have uh, Medicare with the party, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Cherry, do you have any of the supplement insurance as well? Like, no, I got nothing. No, I got nothing else. Nothing. That's it. No supplement. Nothing. Insurance as well. Okay. And Cherry, when you visit at your doctor, not your regular doctor, any of a specialist like a dermatologist, dentist, eye specialist, or you pay anything out of your pocket? Yeah, you better believe I pay. Yeah, I pay. Oh, God. And did you get it back that money from your insurance company? I get nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh my God. And Cherry, what about your fuel cost or uh, transportation when you visit at the doctor in the hospital or a clinic? No, I get nothing. Nothing. You get nothing. Oh my God. Cherry, you know that you are completely qualified for all this additional benefit, which costs uh, zero money out of your pocket. So why you waste your money? No, no, no. Uh, I am I'm very wealthy. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I got a lot of money. I'm, I'm very wealthy. This is very nice, you know, thanks God, you got a lot of money, but you should be save that money for yourself, you know, and you can be helped this, with this Well, I, I send all the extra away, you know, I don't donate it to the, to the National Crabs Association to save the crabs in the ocean. So oh, that's why, I, yeah, last, okay. last month I sent in 75,000, and the month before that it was uh, about 50. And then last week, I just uh, I said, I'll send them another 25. I need to save the crabs, you know, they're, they're nice. They don't bother anybody. Oh, my God. So you're, these are the crabs are uh, favorite for you? Yeah, I like the crabs, you know, they're nice. <laughs> they are. You know, uh, today, me and my mother, we both, uh, you know, um, was talking on the phone. Because in last uh, week, me and my family, we went in one of the, you know, Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Um, um, uh, yeah, in Taipan. And we got their uh, seafood and my wife, she mostly, you know, love to eat the lobster or uh, like uh, crab. So my 
my kids, they don't like that. Well, nothing wrong with eating the crabs, you know. You do the best you can with the crabs you got. You know, what are you going to do? Exactly. Yeah, exactly true. So uh, the thing is that you should be safe. But it's very nice, you know, that you, uh, you know, support them and you pay them, you know, to uh, save the crabs. So it's very nice. And, you know, they are very much powerful, these the crabs. Yeah, that's right. They can take your finger off. One time I had one one time I had this Indian scammer on the phone and I sent him a box of crabs and it cut his knuckles off. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. He was one of those Indian scammers. <laughs> he got his. I see. Okay. So my mind. You know the crabs grip are very very much, you know, hot. Yeah. Like uh, a crocodile. Yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. So the cherry, you, you, you know, you are going to donate all this, your money to the crab or save the crab. So then you don't need any additional benefit, which costs you zero money out of your pocket. Don't need anything and have an April Fool's Day. <laughs> April Fool's. Bye now. Hello? This is a courtesy call for AT&T and Direct TV customers. Yeah? We have a promotion running in which we are helping our customers dropping down their monthly bills. So, if you are not happy with bills and want to lower your bills, that's one. That's the one. If you want to be... This is a courtesy call for AT&T and Direct TV customers. We have a promotion running in which we are helping our customers dropping down bills. So... If you are not happy with bills and want to lower your bills, press 1. If you want to be taken off the list, press 2. If you want to speak with one of our promotional specialists, please press 0. Thanks for staying on the line. This is Steve. How are you doing today? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What's about you? I'm okay. That's wonderful. The reason of this call is to provide you discount. I'm here to love a job, your TV, internet, and landline bills, and fix it for you for complete three years. But in addition to this, we also provide you a brand new cell phone as a gift. Oh, that, that sounds good to you? You mean I'm going to get a new phone also? Yes, ma'am. No, well, okay. Well, okay, well, that sounds good, yes. Okay, for that purpose, would you mind charging me? Which cell phone would you like to choose? Uh, there are two cell phones for you. First is the Samsung and other one is the iPhone. Which one would you like to choose? Um, I, I don't know. I never had an, what do they call it, the iPhone. Um, I always had the other one. My grandson has helped me, so I guess I would stick with the other one. Okay, for that purpose, would you mind telling me what's your address? Yes, it's 147 Main Street in Johnson City, New York. And my zip code is 13790. Okay, can you help me with your name? Yes, my first name is Cherry, C-H-E-R-R-Y. My last name is Selza, S-E-L-T-Z-E-R. What's the address? Can we repeat the address one more time? 147 Main Street, Johnson City. Johnson City, go ahead. New York, 13790. 13790, is that right, Ned? Yes. Allow me a few seconds. Let me check it from my side. Allow me a few seconds. Okay. I can't wait to get my new phone. Okay, and your name is? Cherry Salsa. Can you, uh, can you spell your first name? C-H-E-R-R-Y. Last name? Salsa. S-E-L-T-Z-E-R. What's your last name? Salsa. S-E-L-T-Z-E-R. S-E-L-T-Z-E-R is that right? S. Like in L S, like in um, no, I'm gonna think of a name with an S. Uh, Susan, E like uh, e, uh, um, Eddie, L like uh, loser, T like um, terminal, 
Z like um, a zoo. E like Eddie. And R like rat. Salsa. I go to you, ma'am. I go to you, ma'am. And then how many TVs do you have at your home? I got two TVs, that's all. Okay. And then can you have your date of birth? What's your one one nineteen fifty. One one nineteen fifty. Okay, ma'am. And for that purpose, in order to send your brand new cell phone at your address, we also lower down your bill. For that purpose, would you mind telling me? How much are you paying for your two TVs, internet, and landline bill? Yeah, it's about $135 they're charging me, and it's too much. It's too much $130. money. One, $135. It's too much money they're charging me. It's too much. Okay, you don't need to worry. First of all, I will provide you discount. And after that, I generate an email for you, which is only on $69, and it is good to go for complete three years. That sounds good to you? Okay. Okay, for that purpose, in order to avail this promotion, in order to make a bill discounted, in order to send a brand new cell phone at your address, yeah. in order to make a bill discounted of $69, you just need to pay $3 right now so I can send a brand new cell phone at your address. Okay, let, let me get my credit card. Let me go get it. Hold on. Okay. It's right here in my purse. Okay, uh, okay, it's my Visa card. Okay. And you want the expired date? No, I want your visa card number, so 16 digit long number. Okay. Um, 4532-4606-1652-6401. No, 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 you're off. Are you hearing me okay? Are you hearing me okay? No, I'll try again. You were way off on that. 4532 Okay, let me check it for my site. Allow me to You want to repeat that to me? Oh, Give me a moment. Could you please repeat the numbers I gave you? It's a jacket from my site. Well, you gotta read them back to me, because you made a mistake before. I want this phone. Okay, ma'am. And then, right now, what can I do for you? I'm going to transfer your call to my senior supervisor. You send that cell phone at your address. You just need to stay on the line. He provides your confirmation number. Well, now listen, I got my girlfriend picking me up any minute to go bingo. You're not going to keep me on hold all day, are you? Oh, well, ma'am, you just, just take one minute only, okay? Now, one minute and then I got to hang up and you make sure you send me my phone. Hurry up. My girlfriend's gone away. No worries, ma'am. Well, Mary Poppins will be here any minute. Okay, hurry up. Okay, okay. Could you help me with the expiration of the card, ma'am, when it's going to be expired? Uh, oh, nah. Uh, uh, this is Kermit the Frog. The expiration is April Fool's, you scammer! <laughs> April Fool's, it's a scam number like you. You fucking idiot! <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Hello? Who's this? This is John from the Property Value. How are you, ma'am? Who is this? Well, we are reaching out to you because we have a few family interested in buying and selling a property in the area. So, what do you think about selling your house, ma'am? Yeah, I'll sell. I'll sell it right now. Sure. Okay. How many bedroom and bathroom do you have in your house? Seven. Seven bedrooms. Okay. And bathrooms? One. Okay. We all got to take turns if you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess you are not currently working with any other real estate agent, right? Now, I had the uh, one real estate, the office of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, but they were no good. I got rid of them. Uh, I have my senior supervisor stay on the line. Okay, ma'am? Okay. 
Hello? Thank you so much for holding it. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. My name is Trevor with Property Value. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Good, good to know that. Well, ma'am, we are reaching out to you because we have a few families interested in buying a property in this area. So you are interested in selling your property, right? Oh, yeah. Perfect. So we will definitely help you and provide you one of the best possible price. So in your house, seven bedroom and one bathroom, right? Yeah, we got to all take turns when you go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's a new scam. Buying a house from India. Hello, how are you doing today? Hello, how are you? Great, I believe that you are responding to get that elimination on your existing credit card. Is it correct? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I was on hold so long, I, I almost dozed off. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say, Ig uh, ignorance is bliss, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because of your good payment history and your good credibility, your profile was been placed to all in your credit card debt on all of your existing Visa, Master, Discover, or American Express. So for the qualification purposes, how much do you owe on your credit card? Oh boy, uh, yeah. I owe about uh, 7500 I don't want to beat around the bush, but it's about 7500 I owe. Okay, on which card do you think you carry the major balance or you think you use the most? Uh, it's that damn Visa card. I'd like to call it a day with that. You know, it's a very expensive uh, bill every month I'm paying. Okay. So from which bank you got this Visa card? Uh, it's with the Key Bank. It's with that uh, the Key Bank. I wish they would cut me some slack, you know. But uh, the, the, the prices they're charging me is too much. Uh, they're always cutting corners, you know. Uh, they don't they don't give me a break with the bill. I always tell them, easy does it, easy does it, but the, the bill goes up, you know. Okay, no, okay, okay, no problem, sir. That's why we are here to help you out of your credit card debt, okay? So as the next step, I'm going to pull up the billing statement from my side, and I will update you with your check balance as of today's date. Your last payment you made and your upcoming payment, which are required with your current interest rate, okay, sir? Yeah, because the bill, it, it got out of hand, you know. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I got, I got to get my act together. It's, uh, it's too much, you know. It got out of hand. It got out of hand. Okay, no problem. So, kindly grab your card and verify me the expiration date. When does your card expire? Month and year? All right, let me go get it. I go back to the drawing board. Uh, hold on, let me get it. Let me get it. Hold on. Okay, take your time. I'm holding. Oh you. yeah, hold on. I'll get it. my wallet here how is it okay take your time yeah I'm, I'm not pressing okay 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 here we go let's uh i got it now yeah i got it in front of me okay and what's the expiration date you see month and the oh uh, yeah on uh, no, uh see here five 2024 five 24 524, right? Yeah, you know, I'm glad uh, I'm glad I got reception because it's raining cats and dogs here. Huh. Okay. Yeah. And you see a 16-digit card number starting with 4? Yeah, I see that, yeah. Okay, go ahead, after 4. Oh, you want me to read it to you? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, 4, 5, 5, 6, uh... Five three nine one. My, it's a little foggy. I don't have my reading glasses, but I I don't know how valuable your time is. I don't want to keep you on the phone. Uh, F, okay. what was the last number I gave you? One, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two six nine. Uh, four nine three zero oh, one. Four nine three zero oh, one. Yeah. Okay. Got to hit the nail on the head on that one. Yep.
You missed one number. I did? Oh, what was the last number I gave you? 301. Oh, I'm sorry. After one, after one is seven. <laughs> Oh yeah, boy, I gotta get it out of my system. I got the gave you the wrong number. The last number is seven. I gotta get my act together. Last. What's the last for? The last number is seven. Seven. You gotta give me the benefit of the doubt on that one. Can you read that number? You want me to read them all over again? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know what? Let, let me, yeah, you know what? This is not rocket science. Let me let me get my eyeglasses on. This is why I don't screw this up. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to screw. I'll get my eyeglasses on and I'll be able to read it better. And I'll make a long story short. I won't keep you on the phone. Hold on. Let me get my eyeglasses because I don't want to keep you. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I got them right here. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh my God! Okay, yeah, I was way off. I thought it was uh, the last numbers are one. All right, you want you want me to read them all over again? Yes, sir. Okay, boy, I'm uh, beating around the bush here. Okay, forty-five, fifty-six, fifty-three, ninety-one, twenty-six, nine, four, nine, three, zero, one. See, I got my eyeglasses. I can read it better. I have to beat around the bush, and everything's working on it's supposed to be. You know, I hit the nail on the head on that one. Did you get that? 53. It's 53. Yeah. 91, right? Yeah. Okay. 26, 94. Yeah, you're going to break the ice on that. Yeah. Okay, after that. Are you, is this kind of a joke? Are you, are you joking me? You want me to keep reading the numbers? Is this like a joke or something? Hello? You fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Okay, folks. Hope you get a few laughs out of my crazy phone calls they send me. Uh, in the last one, I like using idioms. They don't get it. They just... Keep blabbing. Y'all stay safe. Please like, subscribe. We're trying to build up the viewership. And uh, let's work together to stop the scam. Take care now.